Moments after the final buzzer sounded on the Grizzlies 2020-21 season, the message and the goal moving forward was clear. We will be back. We'll be back. We'll be back for sure. The Memphis Grizzlies season ended with a Game 5 loss to the Jazz. Led by a rising superstar in John Moran, Memphis showed next gen is ahead of schedule. Their shared obsession with improvement can continue the acceleration of their ascent. Coming into this year, you know, we was hungry, worked, and, you know, we achieved that goal. So now it's more. Uh, go to the next step. It's a shame that we have to, you know, stop playing because it's, it's really like a safe space for us. It's a, it's an exhale for us. It's a place we can just go be ourselves. And by the end of the day, you know, if it's, if it's our addiction. So we're going to find a gym. We're going to find a way to get better. We're, we're addicted to it. The Grizzlies overcame the absence of Jaron Jackson Jr. for most of the season. A COVID-19 outbreak and a league-high 40 games in just 68 days in the second half. Memphis not only reached the playoffs, but beat or hung around with a leading title contender in Utah in four of five games. And as the youngest team in a decade to reach the playoffs, the Grizz know that kind of experience is invaluable. That's what championship teams have. They have that mentality, that switch, where it's like, okay, every possession matters. They're not coasting. They're not checked out. They're locked in every single time because they know that it matters. I'm excited to put it together, man. I really, really am excited to put it together, and I really think I will. For Local 24 Sports, I'm Clayton Collier.